Hey guys and welcome back to my um, WordPress uh, tutorial series. Um, today I will be talking about um, posts and pages. Now posts and pages are more or less the same so I'm just going to be showing you the posts side of things but pages is the exact same layout um, they just have a different function on the site. So once you're logged in um, on the left hand side you've got posts here on the left and pages as well. So I want to go into posts. So once you click on posts, this is what you'll be greeted with. The same thing with pages. I'll just open up a new tab. It's the same thing in pages. So if I click on pages, this is what I'm greeted with. So as you can see, it's pretty much exactly the same view. So I'm going to click on add new posts. And just to show you, I'm going to click on add new page as well. So this is the pages one. Let's get rid of that. So this is the pages one and this is the post one. So, like I said, pretty much exactly the same. Uh, the, pa the post has a bit more settings, so that's why I'm showing you the post, but pages is pretty much exactly the same. So, I'm in the add new post, so what you want to do is add in a title. So, you want to so type in, this is my first post. And this is going to be the title of the article. And as you can see, it's using this title to create up, create the link. So you want the title to be relevant to what the content is on the page. Um, and then in the content, just type in some dummy text. My first blog article. And then you can just type in whatever you want in there. Um, obviously you have content that's more relevant to what the post is, but um, for now that's what we're just going to leave in there. Um, you can also change a lot of your articles, so what you would want to do first is to toggle the toolbar on and this gives you your full range of options. Now a lot of these icons are going to look very uh, familiar um, to all of you um, as it's very, as they're using the same standard icons as what Word uses. So they've got bold italic and strike through which is fairly basic and as you can see as I'm rolling over each button it's giving me the full name of what it's called um, then after strike through you've got bullet list um, numbered list block quotes horizontal line left alignment center alignment right alignment and you got insert link remove link insert read more tag now basically what this one does is if you've got it if you've got your settings set to full article um, I can then add in a new line, click on insert read more, enter and put in your text under here. Basically what that does is, is that when they go to the page, um, they're going to have a read more link and then they'll need to click on that link in order to view the rest of the page. Um, for You may need this on your blog, you may not, um, but it's a nice little feature that's in there by default. Um, you then have your style drop down here. So if you click on that, you've got your paragraph style, your pre style, your heading one, two, three, four, five, and six. Um, these are all basically your default in your theme. Um, so you might want to look at your style sheet for your theme. Um, so it gives you an idea. You then have underline next to that, justify, um, text color, paste as text. Now this is probably a good idea if you're copying and pasting from Word um, just because um, it will bring across any of the styles that are in Word and sometimes it can make it look a little messy and a little jumbled up. Um, you've got clear formatting. Um, so if I've bolded this and then I've italic this and then I've realized okay that looks a little messy I need to clear it and start again. I can just highlight all of it and click clear formatting and it will reset everything back to a default paragraph. Um, this is a good idea um, when like I, like I showed before if you've got a bold here, italic here, maybe strike through here um, and you're looking at it like ah, that's a little messy um, let's just clear that and start it again. Um, okay so next one is your special character now this just brings up a very basic special character um, pop up so if I want to select um, let's try greater than or equal to simple so once I click on that it'll insert it in where your cursor is so if I change that to there special character let's do one half it'll insert it in there 
Um, next one is decrease indent and increase indent. So obviously highlight that, increase and decrease. You also have an undo, so I can undo what I did or redo what I did. And then the last one is some keyboard shortcuts. Now, this is normally, um, this is just the shortcuts that uh, are in WordPress. Um, so, for example, if this, it says here, rather than reach for your mouse to click on the toolbar, use these access, access keys. Windows and Linux use control letter, Macintosh use command letter. Um, so I'm on a, um, I'm on a uh, Windows computer, so I'd use control, but if you're on a Mac, you use command. Um, so for example, if I want heading one, I'd use control one. So if I highlight that, press control one, it will change it to a heading one. If I press control one again, it will return it back to whatever um, it will take off the heading one. Um, so it might be a good idea if you're doing a lot of posts to get to know what these keyboard shortcuts are. Um, but uh, that's completely up to you. So we'll move over to the right hand side now. Um, you've got your publish box. Um, now this is a very important box. Um, so make sure you familiarize yourself with all these buttons. You've got save as draft. Um, this will save um, what you've got here but won't actually make it public. You also have a preview button. So when you click on that, it will give you a preview of what you've currently got in that box. So at the moment, this is what my website looks like. It's basic 2015 theme, and this is what my post looks like here. So we've got some of the symbols in and that sort of thing. So this is what my post would look like if it was public. Just X out of that. Um, you also then have your status. Um, so you can edit your status to whatever you want. So you can do draft or pending review. Um, once it's published, you can flick it back to draft to make it private, um, but like I said, this is this is uh, depends on what your website, how your website is set up. You then have visibility um, set to public. You can change it to password protected or private. Um, like I said, it's up to you depending on what the post is. Um, you also have then publish, and it says immediately. Now this um, is actually the date you want it published. Um, so you click edit. If you want it published immediately, you just leave it as is, or you can go through and change it and go, all right, I want it published in two days time and then change it to that. If you've realized you're about halfway through and go, no, nope, I'm gonna scrap this whole thing, you can move it to trash. Um, otherwise, there's a nice big publish button here, which will publish the post or the page. You see, it's exactly the same, whether it's page, which is here, page, or whether it's a post, like here. Exactly the same box and does exactly the same thing. Okay, so the next one is format. Now this is a post only box, um, but this will basically give you the different types of format that will be displayed. Um, like I said, it also depends on what theme you have installed. So make sure you have a look at what, um, how each of these is displayed in your theme. Um, very simple way of doing that. Uh, if you don't have a, a sheet or a site where it actually says what these look like, you can just click on image and then click on preview. Once you do that, this will show you what that looks like. So at the moment, they, I've got no images or anything in there, so it's not actually gonna show me what it's probably gonna look like. Um, so yeah, so it just depends on which one you have, but for now I'm gonna leave it as standard. Um, but yeah, a quick way of doing it is just to click on what format you wanna look at and then click preview. Okay, next one is categories. Um, now this is also another post only box same as tags. So categories is something that can be um, searched and linked to and can be set up in a hierarchy. Um, so you can look at your most used categories or look at all categories and you can add new ones. So let's add it to test, add new category. So it's got test. But what I can also do is I can also make one that's called test2 and put it this in underneath the test category, like so. So you can have a main category that's called TV news, and then subcategory that could be drama series, um, comedy series, action series, and that way you can kind of break up your posts. You'll still be able to, if you go into the category of um, TV news, the post will still be in there, 
um, but you can also break it up even further which will also help um, SEO and search as well you then have tags um, tags can be whatever you like they don't need to be uniform across all the posts um, these are just the kind of keywords that people will be searching for that these posts will come up so you can choose from the most used ones at the moment I've got none so none will show up but all I can do is just add in one so I go in test and separate with a comma and then do first comma post and then click add and then these will add them in there um, and then I can click and remove which ones I want okay and then the last one is featured image now this is on both pages and posts so this is pages featured image down here and then you have post featured image down here now this is your main image for your post so what you'd want to do is make sure you do have an image um, that way people can see your what your post is just by your image same thing with pages so what you do is you click on set featured image you come up with an upload or media library um, media library is basically all of your uh, images that you have already uploaded um, otherwise if it's a new one you'd upload a new one in here so once you select go in select files um, I'm just going to go in here let's find an image okay let's just pick this one okay so once it's uploaded as you, it will give you a, an idea of what point it is at um, uploading so once it's uploaded and once it's done um, you just click on set featured image and you'll see it down here in the bottom and then you can publish and save the page um, if you like um, page has the exact same thing and it works the same way now the only thing that's on the pages that's not on the post is your page attributes this is basically the only thing that the page attributes does is you can set which page what uh, parent what's the parent of the page um, so for example if you're doing an about us page and then you have a meet the team page but you want that to be underneath the about us page you change it to change the parent and you can select it in there you can also select the order that it goes in um, so by default it will just go as you add the posts in that's the order that they'll be in but you can change that and move that around just by this order so that's basically posts and pages um, so go in have a play around um, you can preview both your posts and pages so I'd suggest doing that so it gives you an idea of what it looks like with your theme um, just because everything is different okay thanks for joining me in this video and I hope you are enjoying these this tutorial series and I'll see you in the next video